Hi everyone, I'm here in the office today looking at the Barco ClickShare CX50. Barco have been making ClickShare wireless presentation devices for years and I think most people that are interested in this kind of technology have probably already heard of the, the, D, the some of the older devices in the past. I've got one of the iconic ClickShare buttons here with me, so you plug this into your USB, press the button and immediately start sharing to the nearby device. It's really good for if you've got external users coming in, something like that, or you've just got people who they don't want to have things installed on their machine, but they want to be able to plug in and get connected really quickly, then it's a good way to do that. With the CX50, you also have multiple network connections that you can use. So you can wire the device into your corporate network. You can also use the wireless to then connect the device, say, to your guest network, so the users can connect on your corporate network as well as on your guest network. You can also then have the device itself emit a wireless SSID of its own um, so that you can connect to the device directly and that lets it show up in like your directory and things like that in the app. What I'm going to do, I'm going to record my desktop here and I'm going to show you rather than using the button, I'm going to show you some of the features that you might not have seen before and uh, focusing around just using the app rather than the button. So when I open up the ClickShare app, what you're going to see here is I've got this YouTube review unit, which is what we've got this unit next to me set up. You can see that I've got the device connected to dual screens. So this is a bring your own device meeting room, wireless presentation and conference in space, but I've got it set up with dual screen. So when I connect to the unit, it's going to ask me for a code. I'll type in that code and now I am connected. Because I'm on a Windows machine and I'm using the desktop client, I can actually share now in extended desktop mode. What that means is when I bring my content up, I can actually drag it across to my second screen. The second screen will be duplicated across both devices, but it means now even though I'm doing kind of bring your own device wireless presentation, I can still work on my emails, do my messages, without other people seeing that up on the screen. It's not duplicating my primary desktop, it's like plugging a HDMI in and doing extended desktop. So that's a really nifty feature and kind of playing into that, what I want to show you is how this device works with Microsoft Teams. So I've disconnected from the whole unit, let me get reconnected. 5485 So once I'm connected I can come over here to Microsoft Teams and I'm going to call Jeremy. And what happens, the ClickShare is going to detect that I'm on Microsoft Teams and it's going to offer me the chance to show participants on the room display. When I click that you're going to see my Teams call repeated here across both screens. Hi Jeremy. Hello. So the, this bit that I'm showing you now, this at the moment only works on Microsoft Teams. This isn't available in WebEx or Zoom. I imagine that'll come, but at the moment this is just a Microsoft Teams feature. But I'm in a BYOD, I can unplug my charger so you can see I've got no cables connected, but I am using the system in the room, but I'm driving from my laptop in a BYOD, BYOM kind of situation. So I come here to Microsoft Teams and I'm gonna decide to share some content. And I'm gonna share the presentation that I opened earlier. And then what you'll see is now I've got Jeremy on one screen while I've got presentation on the other screen, which for a wireless BYOD system is a really unique feature set. Um, I do just want to highlight, because you see it when, um, when you see it like this, it looks amazing. There is one minor difference that I do just want to highlight to you, which is this is only when I present from this room to the far end. When the far end presents back to me, so I'll stop sharing, Jeremy will start. You still, you can still absolutely use the system, see and hear each other, you can still see the content, but what happens is, because the system can't spot the separate window, you get the content and the participants duplicated on both screens. So it's still perfectly serviceable, but it's just, it's just an important difference to understand if you are looking at putting one of these in, in your spaces. So what I'm gonna do now, so this is how the system would work if you've got it configured in a way where You've got the CX50 connected to both screens and you come and you connect to the device wirelessly. Now I'm gonna add an MTR for Android into the mix. Okay, so now I've got my X50 
connected up to the CX50 behind the screen and I've got a USB connection connected here to my Avacore board and that gives me touch control so that I can basically use this as a giant touch panel and you can see what's going on. So this at the moment my laptop isn't connected to the click share in any way shape or form so we've just got an X30 running teams and we're going to start a call and I'm going to dial Jeremy in. And then what I'm going to do once Jeremy's connected, I'm going to show you how, because the CX50 is connected to the input of the X30, I'm going to show you how I can use the button to share wirelessly into the Teams call, even though we're running in MTR mode. So I come here, I plug my little USB button in. That just takes a moment to prepare the meeting room and get everything sorted out. And once we're connected, I can come here, start sharing my presentation. And what we should see is that the presentation comes up and I've got my participants along the bottom. So Jeremy can see that on the other side, we can see it here in the room, and that's all working as expected. So again, now I keep going over the same thing, that's running native Microsoft Teams on that system. So now I'm gonna hang up the call, and I'm not gonna instigate the call here on the X30, I'm instead gonna install Stop my presentation one second. So, stop presentation. So we're back to this screen, standard Teams Room homepage. And then I'm gonna swipe in from the right, I'm gonna enable device mode. And then I'm gonna launch a Teams call using the Teams client on my laptop. So now I'm doing a bring your own device meeting rather than using the application that's installed on the X30. I'm going to select show participants on display again. And again now, so we can see my team's call up on screen, but we're not using the app that's on the system now. So if I wanted to do a WebEx call, if I wanted to do a Zoom call, use these peripherals, I could do that in the same way. And then if I come here to my app and I start sharing content, And let's say, again, I wanted to share my presentation, but this time I'm sharing straight into the Teams call rather than sharing to the device. So again, you're gonna see my content over there on the left and you're gonna see my video participants over here on the right. I'll just close that. So that's the Barco ClickShare CX50. So we've looked at the device without uh, Microsoft Teams room, just connected directly and doing wireless conferencing and wireless presentation. And then now we've had a look here with an Android based Microsoft Teams room. And again, we've shared wirelessly into the device to, ship, to use it for presentation purposes, or we can use it as BYOD, BYOM, take over the peripherals and use it for any type of call that we want to do. If you're interested in this device or any other wireless presentation systems and you want to see how these systems could possibly work in your environment, then feel free to email info at and someone will be in touch.